Hello everyone and welcome to another fly tying session here from Nordic English. My name is Daniel and today we're going to tie a small sonka fly. Sonka flies are absolutely amazing. They have just the liveliest movement in the water. Uh, and for this one we have made a really simple one that will work for trout anywhere. Uh, the color scheme here is, uh, is salmon pink or sort of that soft pink, um, which is awesome for all winter fishing in particular for the Danish coastline or for uh, reservoir trout. Um, so a fast and easy and cheap fly to make that just fishes really well under any conditions. And you can of course change this uh, whatever way you like uh, in regards to colors and stuff. This is a type fly, so this is something that just works and works and works. And if you want to add, to, to add this to your box in the, in the color combination that you like, then feel free to do that. So now we're gonna tie Miss Piggy. So here goes, now we're going to tie the Miss Piggy. Um, for the hook for this we're going to use a light stinger from Arix. Uh, that is a, probably the most, uh, <laughs> the most popular hook for all these sea trout flies. <coughs> um, but we're also going to use some uh, very fluorescent uh, uh, brass beads. Uh, these we've just added to the web shop. It's not something we've had in all these different fluorescent colors. We've had them in gold and black and silver for a long time. But now we've added them in really, really nice fluorescent colors in all different sizes. So they, all you would ever need for your nymphs and your pike flies even. We have those sizes in stock at, uh, at Nordic Anglers now. So I'm going to take one in four millimeters. It fits the, uh, the size four hook I have here. Uh, basically just slide it onto the hook like this and um, then I'm going to use a white thread because uh, I want an, as, as neutral as possible a, a tying thread for this one and I'm just gonna tie all the way down to perhaps just just where the barb is um, because that gives the fly the right uh, sort of sway and 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 streamlined look in the water um, then we're gonna apply a sunker strip and uh, um, for this, I have a lot of different uh, full pelts from uh, from rabbits that are extremely, extremely cheap. They are less than 10 euros uh, for a full uh, a full rabbit pelt. And that is just an amazing uh, price for some awesome, awesome colors of, uh, of these. Um, I'm just going to take my razor. As you can see, the, the way basically, normally I would cut cut more than one at a time, but basically you can just cut out your own songer wing and I'm gonna do this off to the side here. I have a full video that it shows you exactly how to how to uh, how to make a wing like this from uh, from your from your uh, your rabbit pelt. What I've done is basically, uh, since I'm only cutting one for this video, I have tapered it, as you can see here. So it, it narrows down and gives the fly the right, uh, the right tapering. So it, it looks more like an actual, an actual small bait fish. And you can do this pattern in any colors you like. Uh, but for this one, it's gonna be, you know, uh, themed in like the salmon pink. Um, uh, color scheme, which basically is is one of the most popular in Denmark for sea trouts, uh, due to a very famous shrimp, shrimp that's called the Pedigrisen, uh, that has these colors, and uh, they are awesome colors. So we're gonna tie this in 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 that color scheme. That's also why we've dubbed it Miss Piggy. The next thing is uh, we're just gonna use some. Um, some uh, cactus uh, senile for the body. This is basically just some flesh fibers woven in between some uh, some uh, cotton fibers. And this is an easy way to make a really nice and shiny body on your flies that uh, that just looks good and, uh, and attracts a lot of attention from the fish. So basically I've just pulled out some of the flesh fibers here. Then I'm gonna tie this down just where the uh, the songer wing uh, was attached. Then I'm gonna move the tying thread all the way up to the bead. There we go. And then <laughs> the great thing about this is basically you just 
you just turn it fold it hold it a little back and then just turn it and this gives you a nice transparent dubbing like body but just very very easily just make this with uh, that added flash effect that bonus flash effect as well it's gonna take one more turn here where the beat is there we go. Cut away the cactus. And you see you have a nice shiny see-through body that looks amazing in the water. It's inexpensive and easy and fast to tie. Then I'm gonna stretch my my rabbit songer here and and tie on top of all of this. And the reason why I tie on top of all of this is that will give me the right tapering on the Songer wing as well. So if, if, you, if you moved all the hairs away, you would not have these shorter hairs tied in with, along with the rest. And that would <coughs> basically give you a very abrupt uh, ending to, uh, to the fly and that would not look very good. Now we can cut away all of this. As you can see, now I have a big bulky part up here. And this does not please the eye. I don't think the fish mind that much, but I mean, every one of us knows that the prettiest fly is the one we tie onto the leader first. And then we use all the Quasimodos later. <laughs> I'm cutting away as much as I can here. And as you can see, this is still looks a bit abrupt and a bit, there is this bulk here that does not look pleasing to the eye. So we're going to use a trick to actually cover that. We're going to use a hackle and uh, salmon salmon pink uh, hackles are really hard to come by. I have just gotten some uh, some really nice hen capes uh, from Whiting in uh, in salmon pink and these feathers are so awesome and nice and relatively soft in their in their uh, in their um, fibers so perfect for a fly like this and basically we're going to use this to to cover up that that annoying looking bulky part here on top of the head i'm going to tie this in in at the tip there we go just apply some pressure and some tying thread cutting away the part that i do not need and then basically, I'm going to turn the hackle here on top of all of this. That turned out the wrong way. I don't know why that was. Try to fold the hackle fibers so it has it they, they have their natural curve is, is, is turned backwards. turn and this also gives the fly the nice <coughs> the nice uh, properties and and the nice look of of it tapering and being more dense and more bigger at the end of the fly at the, towards the head which is gonna make this look exactly or re rem resemble a small bait fish a lot more out in the water. Spot on. Does it look as good on your side? It looks as good on your side as it does on mine. That's lucky. <laughs> and there you have it, Miss Piggy. A small fly with some fluorescent inside there. Uh, a really nice, really lively uh, songer strip on top. And, uh, and also this fly bounces really, really nicely in the water because it has a weight up front. So it, it's easier to get down deep during the winter time. It's per perfect for reservoir trout or for coastal sea trout. Um, it bounces nice and, uh, and, uh, and really, really lively in the water. And it's fairly easy, it's fairly inexpensive. It's just an all out great, great little winter fly for anything trout. And of course, you can do it in any colors you like. So here are two of these uh, uh, Miss Piggy flies. 
as I said, it's a great, great all-round type of fly. It has some weight in the in the front, so it dives a lot. It, it has a very jiggy-like effect in the water, um, and uh, it has a lot of life due to both the hackle and the uh, and the, uh, the the rabbit songer here. It's a fairly inexpensive fly that just works and works and works on everything trout all over the world. Um, easy and fast to tie, and uh, and you can vary this in any in regards to colors in any way you like. Uh, but this this color scheme here is has proven really really great for winter fishing. So you can of course find the full and complete material kits to kit to this fly at Nordic Anglers, along with all the other different types of all the other stuff of fly fishing and fly tying that we stuck. Um, otherwise, um, there's nothing left but to say uh, I wish you all the best of luck out on the water and thank you so much for watching.